The Harbin skull is a mysterious fossil that was unearthed nearly a century ago. It has remained one of the most enigmatic discoveries in paleoanthropology. Its robust structure, unique features, and astonishing preservation have puzzled scientists and ignited debates about its origins and significance. Now, after decades of uncertainty, groundbreaking research has sequenced the DNA of this fossil and revealed an entirely new species of extinct humans that was previously unknown, known as Dragon River Man. This discovery fundamentally alters everything we think we know about the human lineage and evolution as a whole. In 1933, during a time of political upheaval and war, workers near Harbin City in China's Heilongjiang province unearthed the skull while constructing a bridge over the Songhua River. Aware of its potential significance but fearful of the occupying Japanese forces, the finder concealed the skull in a well, keeping it out of the hands of both looters and scientists for decades. It wasn't until 2018 that the fossil resurfaced after it was handed down through generations as a family heirloom. This artifact, nearly intact and well-preserved, would soon revolutionize our understanding of human evolution. The skull's features were immediately striking. Large, square eye sockets, pronounced brow ridges, a broad nose, and teeth larger than those of Homo sapiens. Its cranial capacity was comparable to modern humans and hinted at advanced cognitive abilities. However, its sheer size and morphology distinguished it from other known human species, and this left researchers puzzled. The lack of context about its exact origin and age further complicated efforts to place it within the human evolutionary lineage. To gain a better understanding of the Harbin skull, scientists employed advanced techniques such as uranium series dating and chemical analysis of sediments trapped within the fossil. These methods revealed that the skull originated from the Middle Pleistocene, which was between 125,000 and 800,000 years ago, and was at least 146,000 years old. Such precise dating was pivotal in situating the fossil within the broader timeline of human evolution. To understand the significance of this discovery, it is essential to consider the broader timeline of human evolution. Homo sapiens are part of the hominin family, a group that includes all species more closely related to humans than to chimpanzees. Over the past few million years, this family has diversified into numerous species, including Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis or Neanderthals, and the enigmatic Denisovans. These species often overlapped in time and space, interacting, interbreeding, and sharing traits. But the real breakthrough came with the recent sequencing of its DNA. Despite the rarity of surviving genetic material in fossils of this age, researchers managed to extract and analyze enough to piece together a clearer picture of its place in the human family tree. The results were astonishing. It appeared that the skull belonged to a previously unknown human species. The researchers decided to give the species a new name, Homo longi. This was based on detailed morphological analysis. The cranium's features, including its thick brow ridges, wide nasal cavity, and robust structure, distinguish it from other known hominin species. At the same time, it, its large brain case, comparable in size to that of modern humans, suggests advanced cognitive abilities. The skull likely belonged to a male individual, estimated to have been around 50 years old at the time of death. The research team also analyzed sediments trapped within the skull and confirmed its origin from the upper layers of the Huangshan Rock Formation near Harbin City. This geological context provided additional evidence supporting the skull's age and its place in the evolutionary timeline. Importantly, the researchers constructed a phylogenetic tree, or evolutionary family tree, to determine Homo longi's relationship to other hominin species. This analysis revealed that Homo longi shares a closer common ancestor with modern humans than Neanderthals do. This suggests that, indeed, the Dragon Man is our closest known relative. Until this discovery, Neanderthals were considered our closest extinct relatives. Genetic and morphological evidence had established a timeline in which Homo sapiens and Neanderthals diverged from a common ancestor around 600,000 years ago. However, the inclusion of Homo longi in the evolutionary tree shifts this narrative. According to the new research, Homo longi and Homo sapiens share a common ancestor that lived approximately 950,000 years ago, whereas the common ancestor of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals dates back over 1 million years. This revised timeline has massive implications for our understanding of human evolution. It suggests that the divergence between modern humans and Neanderthals occurred earlier than previously thought. Moreover, the presence of Homo longi in northeastern Asia highlights the complexity of human evolution in this region, 
which has often been overshadowed by discoveries in Africa and Europe. The findings also challenge the traditional out-of-Africa model, which posits that modern humans originated in Africa and spread outward. Instead, the discovery of Homo longi shows that Asia is an important region as well, where significant evolutionary events occurred. Asia, with its vast landscapes and varied climates, served as both a migratory corridor and a crucible for evolutionary experimentation. The Harbin skull exemplifies this complexity, as it represents a species that evolved in relative isolation yet maintained connections to other human populations through shared ancestry and possibly gene flow. While the exact lifestyle of the Dragon Man remains speculative, its features and geographic location offer some clues. The harsh, cold climate of northeastern China during the Middle Pleistocene likely demanded physical and cultural adaptations. The Dragon Man and his kin may have relied on some tools, clothing, and shelters to survive. Their large brains suggest advanced cognitive abilities that potentially enabled complex social structures and communication. In addition to the story of Homo longi, researchers have also reconstructed its face using advanced forensic techniques. Brazilian anthropologist Cicero Morris employed computed tomography CT scans of the Harbin cranium, along with comparative data from Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, and chimpanzees, to approximate the facial structure of this ancient species. The result is a striking portrait of Homo longi, nicknamed Dragon Man, showcasing a face with larger, almost square eye sockets, thick brow ridges, a wide mouth, and oversized teeth. For the reconstruction, missing elements like the jaw and teeth were recreated using models from related species. The remaining molar served as a key alignment point as it allowed researchers to achieve a detailed approximation. The discovery of Homo longi raises important questions about the interactions between different hominin species. Did Homo longi interbreed with other species, such as Neanderthals, Denisovans, or even early Homo sapiens? Genetic evidence from other fossils has shown that interbreeding was common among hominin species, which led to a complex web of genetic relationships. Unfortunately, DNA analysis of the Harbin cranium has not yet been possible due to the degradation of genetic material over time. However, advances in ancient DNA extraction techniques may eventually provide answers. While the discovery of Homo longi is groundbreaking, it is not without its challenges. The dating of divergence events in the human family tree remains contentious. For instance, the proposed timeline suggesting Homo sapiens existed in Eurasia 400,000 years ago clashes with fossil evidence, which places our species' migration out of Africa at roughly 200,000 years ago. As researchers continue to analyze this fossil and uncover new evidence, we will undoubtedly gain a better understanding of Homo longi and its place in the complex, interconnected history of our species. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating content. See you next time.